Hey guys, I've been holding off on doing this uh, video because I wasn't quite sure how to um, address this topic. And when I say address, that is spelled A-D-D-R-E-S-S-E -E because it's got a French twist to it. Bam! I know you know what this is. But today, I'm gonna save the life of the people who are having hemorrhoid problems. And don't ask me to spell hemorrhoid because that's a tough one. Fine, I'll do it. H E M O. R-R-O-I-D-S. You know, as people get older, and this doesn't happen to me, I'm talking about a friend of mine who brought up this issue to me and I started doing research and... Ah, fine, it is me. So what? As we get older, your body starts to change. Your teenager perfection starts to dissipate. I'm not spelling that one either. Things start to uh, sort of break down on ya as you get into the 40s and 50s. And God help us in the 60s and 70s and 80s. It's gonna be interesting. But one of the most important things that you ever must do to keep yourself pure inside is to get rid of all that old toxic waste out of your bate. Now, some of us have problems with that. Others are a little too regular. Ever since I went keto and IF, my body has become a lean freaking machine, like an Olympian. Sometimes go to the bathroom several times a day. I knew a guy who only went once a week or once every 10 days. And anytime he went to the toilet, it would be a two, three, four hour affair because it was so hard as a rock that he could not get that out. Irregardless, that's not the topic of today's uh, video. The video is which is the best toilet paper if you have a case of the hemorrhoids. Now, if you look at the Webster's Dictionary and you question to yourself, what is a hemorrhoid? A hemorrhoid is basically an inflammation of a tissue in that area. Because of age, because of diet, because of job, because of sitting, uh, who knows? Anything can happen. And there's two kinds. One hemorrhoid is outside and one hemorrhoid is inside. What do you think of that? They got them inside. And if you look at my freaking video from months ago, back in December, titled My First Colonoscopy, I will show you at the end what a hemorrhoid looks like, pictures taken by a doctor. Anyway, in my search to uh, not have such a painful experience when I hit the toilet, especially on the days when you go several times a day. The constant sandpaper effect of some of these toilet papers can create a big problem. Such a problem where you never want to sit down ever again, if you know what I mean. So I began my search in the same way that I'm searching for the best cheesy 
spinach asparagus dip in the same way that you see all those videos of me searching for the best chocolate chip cookie. And guess what? I found the freaking answer. So first, I'm just gonna wave a carrot at you, or should I say a toilet paper at you? It is not the angel soft. Nope. I fell for that one. How many other softies are out there? How many of the regular ones are out there? And see, the problem is that you need something soft, but you don't need something made out of air that is gonna break the second you take your hand and let it do its job, and now you got chocolate all over your freaking hands. Been there too. And I'm not talking about having a Hershey's bar melting in my hand in the summer while I was pigging out when I was not keto. Because I'm keto and IF. So that's been out a long time. Even though I crave that every now and then. Anyway. Try them all. Fake brands. Green brands. Can I say organic brands? You get the picture, right? All failed miserably. So I had to buy them in small packages because if they flunked out, I didn't want to get stuck with the big stuff, right? So what happens one day? I'm out there in the search. I'm looking and I go, nope, that's not soft. Nope, that's fake soft. Nope, that's sandpaper. Nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Because you need something strong and super soft. What do you think of that? So there it was one day. The one that I somehow decided never to buy because it was the most expensive one. So I left that one till the end. I tried everything else and something should have kicked in and said, hey, Extreme Life Reviewer, could it be that the reason that is so expensive or the most expensive it's because it's actually the top cheese el numero juno well unfortunately in this case that's what happened the one that i was avoiding because of the price turned out to be a number one a Plus, the big Comanchero, the big top cheese, the number one enchilada, the best of the best. Now, speaking of my opinion, but you might as well save all the freaking money and all the pain that I went through. So I'm ready to show it to you. Are you excited? I hope you hang in there this long because I did that for a purpose. You can't tell by this, but this is an actual roll from this because I refuse to buy anything else again in my freaking house ever. And when the you know what came in and the lockdown and everybody was yelling and screaming for that, woo, I had my stash and I never ran out, but I was buying other junk now that I'm gonna be stuck with. Maybe I can sell them on one of those websites, who knows? Anyway, are you ready? The great revealing begins right now. Can you recognize it? I don't think you can. Can you recognize it? I don't think you can. Can you recognize it? I don't think you can. Here we go. And I love that it's a big roll and jumbo size. I actually had to buy the little plastic things on the wall that, um, that are, you know, the things that compress to hold your toilet paper. Is, is it the dispenser? I don't know what. I had to buy the jumbo size one from Amazon to accommodate this humongous roll, which I, ha I was happy about that. Are you ready? Here's the answer. Charmin Ultra Soft. 
You see the little bear, how happy he is? Do you see? Mwah. Look what it says here. Cushioning touch. And I can vouch for that. Mm, 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 mm. Look at this. The equivalent of 41 rolls in this humongous giant size rolls. This is everywhere. Expensive Publix, expensive Target. They have it at Walmart. They have it at, not Aldi's. Aldi's doesn't sell this stuff. Let's see if I can keep it right here until I finish. So now you know. Save all your money, save all your time. I have given you the freaking answer. And all I'm gonna ask for you is to give me a subscribe and hit the button that says like, and then hit the bell next to subscribe so that you can get my next review so that I can again save your life. And when I say save your life, I don't mean save your life. I mean save you money, honey. So take a picture. Ready? Take a screenshot right now. Until the next video. And I have some doozy ones coming. I'm out. Oh guys, I'm sorry, I forgot to say the most important part. On my first visit ever to do a colonoscopy, I asked the doctor, I said, hey, what's going on with all these bad toilet papers? They're hurting people, they're hurting me, blah, blah, blah. I found one which I was thinking is the best ever after trying a million of them, but I wanna hear it from you. Which do you think is the best toilet paper for hemorrhoids? And when he told me the brand that he uses personally as a hemorrhoid doctor, guess what it was? The same freaking thing that I had bought just before going to that appointment, like two weeks before. The answer that fixed my problems. So I said, ha, 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 ha. Funny that you say that, doc because that's the only one that's been perfect for me. And he goes, oh, it's expensive, but that's the only one to get. So I needed to tell you guys that it's not just me saying it. A doctor said that, a colonoscopy doctor, okay? So take my word for it, go get this one today. Now I'm out for real. See ya! Whoa. Mm -hmm.